Okay, to start off, I'm in the Edit tab in DaVinci Resolve, and I just added a clip to my timeline that I'd like to add slow motion to the part where she does the first flip. To do this, first move the playhead to where you want to start slowing down your video. Then select the Razor tool and use it to make a cut at the playhead's position. Next, move the playhead to when you want your slow motion to end, and make a cut at that position as well. Alright, now you'll need to reselect the selection tool and select the clip that you cut out. Then go up here to the inspector. In the inspector, make sure you're in the video tab and scroll down to speed change, which you can click on to expand. Before you do anything, make sure ripple timeline is checked so that your clips stay together since changing speeds affects the duration. Now you can go ahead and change the speed to whatever you want. I'll put mine around 50% for half speed. Alright, this is definitely slow-mo, but since I'm only working with 24 FPS footage, this becomes a super choppy 12 frames per second. Luckily, we can improve this by scrolling down a bit more to Retime and Scaling. Under Retime and Scaling, click the drop-down for Retime Process, and change it to Optical Flow. Okay, while this looks better, we have some ghosting in her legs since half speed at 24 FPS is still a bit too hard to pull off. But keep in mind that anything 30 or above should work fine at half speed. However, if you're stuck with 24 FPS footage, you have two options. The first is to change the motion estimation to speed warp. This works super well, but it requires DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is a paid feature. But I'm going to undo this to show you guys the other option. The other option would be to increase the speed to around 75% or so to keep the ghosting minimal. Of course, this isn't optimal if you have a low frame rate and you want to go super slow, but it might be a good compromise if you don't want to pay extra for DaVinci Resolve Studio. Like I said, if you're working with 30 frames per second or above, you probably aren't going to deal with these ghosting issues, I just wanted to be thorough in case you run into this problem. But yeah, that's all from me, so thanks for watching and see you next time.